I think it's unfortunate that when people start to learn marketing, they usually think marketing is about style and attractiveness or getting the right software or being on the right platforms or getting the right tips and tricks to get people's attention, being more entertaining, uh, being more attractive, right? And that's okay, you know, if you enjoy uh, working on style, if you enjoy working on visual brand, uh, that's great. And it, it definitely is an amplifier uh, of, of content. But what I want to bring to you is something a little different, a, a different message. One that I think is more sustainable for the use of our energy. And for me, anyway, it's more connected to a greater life purpose. And maybe it, you'll feel the same way. And the message is that authentic marketing is about continuing to work on our substance rather than being anxious about our style. Okay? So, like I said, if you are focused on style, that means you are always wondering, ah, what's, what's the newest marketing trend, George, that I should be going, going for? Oh, there's that new software. Should I try that, George? Oh, there's a new trend. I, if I could, if I do this and I do that, I'll get more attention for my social media or for my website. Oh, if I, uh, you know, um, try to be clever or attractive in this or that kind of way, I'll get more followers and then more clients, etc. That is, like I said, it's an exhausting process because you're essentially always comparing yourself to others to your competitors and, oh, they're, they're doing that. So I better check that out too. And I better try that too. And you, in the process of continuing to keep comparing yourself, you lose the depth of your, your soul, your spirit more and more because you become more and more like other people or trying to keep up with what is supposed to be the most attractive or the most stylish or the most clever or the smartest way of doing something, this or that. And I invite you just to take a deep breath <laughs> and return to the deepest expression of your purpose. What is that? For me, it's about life is about growing in love and wisdom. I could summarize it like that. So if, 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 if for me, so you have to define that for yourself. What is the purpose of life? What is the purpose of life? Define that for yourself. And then ask yourself, am I applying my life's purpose to how I do my marketing? Because why should they be separated? Why is it that you can be spiritual and be purposeful, you know, on Sundays or, you know, when you're not working and then when you're working and doing marketing, you've got to be clever and keeping up. Otherwise you'll fall behind and no, it doesn't have to be that way. Okay. Um, so like I said, the way I want to quickly define my life purpose is to grow in love and wisdom simple so then therefore how i do my marketing is also growing in love and wisdom so let's talk about that love growing love means learning how to care for you more so when i can i know there's lots of people a lot of you out there for me to contact but gradually i'm contacting more and more of you and learning more about you and connecting with you more on a one-to-one -one basis Right. Um, so learning love is learning uh, to be in more service and support to you. Um, learning wisdom means delving in to the limitless well of creativity that is within you and within me. So within me, the limitless well of creativity needs to be tapped on a regular basis in order to become a greater influence in my life. So for me, that means making videos consistently, sharing my, my thoughts with you consistently. But as you can even notice, as I'm doing these Facebook Lives, right? Have you noticed that I'm, I'm also exploring as I talk to you? I don't have everything planned out. 
This is authentic marketing. Now, by the way, authentic marketing doesn't mean it's not prepared, right? But it means that I'm willing to be true to the moment. Of course, I prepared an outline for what I'm going to say to you right now in this video, but I am not reading a script. I am allowing myself to explore in relationship with you. Um, with your presence here, I am more connected to an exploration that is more relevant to you while I also um, try to figure out what is the truest expression of what I want to say. So growing a wisdom means to continue plumbing the depths of your experience and of all, everything you've ever learned to integrate, to share, because the most um, effective way for you to grow in wisdom is not to be in your closet thinking, okay? The most effective way for you to grow in wisdom is to, is to learn to express what you have, what you think you've learned from life experiences, from your reading, from consuming content, from your own thoughts and reflections. It's, as you'll notice, it's the expression of these things that really allow you to grow uh, more deeply into wisdom. Have you noticed that? Um, articulation in community articulation in community I think is what really grows us in wisdom um, because then the wisdom is relevant because it's within community right so that being my life purpose to grow in love and wisdom I apply that directly to my marketing and it's a perfect fit grow in love to care more for my audience and to become more relevant and supportive of them the grow in wisdom to consistently plumb the depths of my experience, to integrate my learnings into a, an expression that makes sense to other people too. And therefore it makes even more sense to me, right? So um, that is what I mean by focusing on substance in marketing rather than style and rather than uh, keeping up with the latest trends. Oh my God. Am I using Instagram stories wisely? Oh my God, this thing just came out. It's breathless. Have you noticed? Trying to keep up with the marketing trends is breathless because it just keeps getting faster and you're always trying to just keep up. And here's, how, here's my strategy. So it's like, George, you're a marketing expert. How can you not keep up with marketing trends? Here's my strategy for how to do that. My strategy is to let everybody else if they wish to be breathless in trying to keep up with all these different things. And then I simply observe, Oh, well, isn't it interesting that so-and-so is trying that. Oh, it's interesting that so-and-so is trying that. Is it really working? I don't, I don't see substance there. I just see a lot of, you know, style and fluff and, you know, which again, style and trends are seductive. And that's why so many people breathlessly run after them. It's seductive, but at the end of the day, it feels empty, something not quite there. This is partly why I've, I have still haven't yet jumped on the stories thing. I know a lot of you love stories and that's great. If you love doing it, if you enjoy doing it, if you feel can more connected to your audience and connected to your wisdom, by all means do it. But when I do it, I don't feel connected to my, I don't feel connected to you when I do story. Actually, none of you respond when I do stories. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> never mind. Um, and I just, the, the short format of it just doesn't makes me feel too anxious. So I don't quite, I don't quite do it, but some of you have found a way to do it. That's, that's profound and that's great and, and feel connected. That's great. But I just haven't found a way to do it. So I'm still watching people do stories. I'm like, can I see myself doing it in a way that's authentic to me? And I still can't see it yet. Instagram. I mean, Instagram's been around for years, right? I still can't see how I can do Instagram in a way that's authentic to me, except for IGTV now, Instagram TV, which is up to 10 minutes of video. So I can do that. I can, I can be more authentic in 10 minutes of video rather than in one minute or in an image. I'm not good at images anyway. So uh, that's not authentic to me, but some of you are great at images and it feels, you feel like it's helpful for your exploration and it feels connected to your audience. Do it. Great. So that's what I mean. Like all of us have to find, ways of doing marketing that allow us to truly integrate our, our knowledge, our learnings, our reflections into wisdom 
for our audience and and to do marketing in a way that feels like we are connected to our audience and that we really care about them, care for them, and that they feel the care. So for some of you, it may or may not be doing Facebook Live. You know, it might not be because you, maybe you feel too anxious in doing Facebook Live. Then don't do it. Maybe for you, it's simply thoughtful pieces of writing. And that may be all you need to explore, integrate your reflections and learnings into wisdom and to care and be connected to your audience. So find the way of doing marketing that feels deeply true for you. That's not just about getting the word out. It's not just about being seen or grabbing attention. I think those, I think grabbing attention is such a crude phrase, but so many marketers use it. Grab people's attention. It reminds me of what our president says about grabbing something else, right? It's like, it's so violent, grabbing attention. That's violent. You know, getting people's attention seems, you know, hey, I'm gonna use my visuals to try to get your attention. And it's like, oh, I see something. Cut. Shiny object syndrome. I don't want to do marketing as a shiny object. People do it. People get your attention with the shiny object stuff and the, the visual, visual magic and, you know, and it's seductive and maybe you end up following them and maybe you do end up falling in love with them. But as long as there's substance there, I'm great with that. But so often there is questionable substance there. And what I'm saying is you can build a thriving business with just your substance. And whatever style comes to you authentically without having to pretend to be anybody else. So I hope this is helpful. I hope this releases your anxiety a little bit. You don't have to chase after the latest marketing trends. You, oh, I was going to say, you simply watch what other people are doing. And if you truly see substance that you're inspired by, then you try it yourself. But don't, I have stopped being the early adopter to marketing trends, to software, to marketing techniques, to social media platforms. I used to be the early adopter. Oh my God, this thing just came out. I better try it because I don't want people to say at George, you're a marketer, you should, I've, I said, who, who cares what other people say I should do? What I should do is to be connected to my truest purpose and to be connected to my audience. That's what I should do. Uh, it doesn't matter what techniques, the, the new, old, ancient techniques, doesn't matter. But am I growing in wisdom and am I growing in love? then that is authentic marketing and conscious marketing and heart-based marketing or however you want to call it. So I hope this is helpful and I wish you a joyful diving in to your most authentic and fulfilling activities of connecting to your audience and connecting to your own wisdom and to express that. Wish you well. Thanks to those who are joining me live here, Gudrun, Nick, Lisa, Yule, Sherry. Thank you all so much for your uh, for your participation and for your comments. Be well. Have a wonderful day.